Okay, I'm um, sorry, I just lost connection, so I had to reconnect because this is very, 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 very interesting for me, you know, very interesting for me. Whoever doesn't think it's important, that's okay, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I want to quickly say what I have to say. Hi, thanks for coming in, and please share this video because it is very very important if you have a friend that owns a business if you have a family member if you have a sibling that owns a business and somebody else has been stealing from them you need to share this video if you are in the event industry you know and you are doing stuff and people are taking your work you know presenting it to customers presenting it to clients like it's their work and they're not giving credit to whoever the owner of the business is then you need to share this video okay um like i said i'm not going to take your time something else just happened this morning and i had a few people send um inbox to me you know so i think i need to talk about this okay so please i need you guys to share this video two weeks ago was it two weeks ago i think um Two Sundays ago, let me just say, two Sundays ago, um, the whole internet went crazy. It was Shegungele, you know, being the one probably they think is hating on Banky W and his wife Adesua when I called out a certain designer, which I don't even think is necessary to call her name anyway because she's not important, you know, for copying somebody else's work, you know, and um, passing it on as her own. You understand what I'm saying now? A, p a few people that got it mixed up, they probably thought maybe I was hating on the couple, which has got nothing to do with it. Okay, was my timing wrong? Yes, I admit my timing was wrong, but was I right for calling her out? I think I was, because it is not fair. Sincerely, it's very, very heartbreaking. Sorry, I'm looking down because I'm trying to look for some pictures to show you guys. It's actually heartbreaking when you... When you work so hard for something, when you put your creativity, your mind, you put your everything, your mindset, you put everything into creating a masterpiece and somebody comes from nowhere, you know, steals it without even giving you credit. Now, there is no problem with seeing something somebody else does and somebody else likes. You understand what I'm saying? There is, it is not a problem. You understand what I'm saying? But when you steal from somebody, it is stealing, no matter how you want to say it. When you steal a design from somebody, someone's original design, and you do not give credit to that person, it is very, very bad. It is very, very bad. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say so much. I mean, a lot of you saw, um, <clears throat> It was on Linda EKG, it was on Nigeria Weddings, it was on almost all the blogs, okay? It was on almost all the blogs and I decided to turn off my comment because too many people were saying too many bullshit. But guess what? After that situation, we all saw what happened. So many people were beginning to call so many people out. So now, for those of you that still have the post or is still on my Instagram page anywhere and you can go to Bella Ninja. Now, I said when I saw that post... My heart was shattered, okay? Because everybody, the whole world is waiting to see what Adesua is going to wear. Who is going to make her wedding dress? Who is going to... What is she going to wear? What's going to be the latest trend, the latest inspiration? You know, and... You just came from nowhere. You copied a design from the most recent designer that you usually copy from. Okay? You copy the most recent design. Actually, let me look for this. You copy the most recent design... On the person's page okay and it's still the same most recent design on the designers page you copied it and you pass it off as your own it is called stealing and when they called you out because you see that's why if you follow if you follow my Instagram page I really wasn't going to talk about this but something else happened today I had to talk about it okay if you follow my Instagram page right you know when you copy when you um when you repost somebody's comments, it copies everything from that person's page to your repost. If you repost well, if you know about the repost app. That's why I said the repost app does not lie. Okay, so if you go to um if you go to her page, like I said, I don't want to call her name anyway. If you go to her page, okay, you are going to see the repost there. And if you go to Bella Ninja, or did I say Bella Ninja? Sorry, excuse me. If you go to Instablog Ninja that posted this. 
this is the post on insta blog ninja and if you look at the bottom here credit was not given okay so go back there and check it credit was not given to the designer that did that dress so let us start from there until i called her out before she decided to go back into her page edit it okay and gave credit to that person so for you to believe what i'm saying is right you can go to linda ikeji it's on linda ikeji you can go to bella ninja and take a look at it okay so the repost app does not lie now there is nothing original okay nothing original everybody copies from somewhere but my problem is when you copy from someone please give that person the credits now that sunday the whole world was abusing me they were saying all sorts of things do i give a rat ass no i don't care what anybody said i said what i felt was right and that is it i already said it but guess what guess what happened the following day ebuka suits came on the limelight right now <clears throat> What was wrong with the tailor that made Ebuka's suit? His Agbada, whatever it is. What was wrong from you saying you got the inspiration from so, so, so person? For that person to now come out and post. He, he actually had to do a post. I mean, that is just, it's just so unfair. You know, somebody creates something and you come from nowhere and you copy that person's design. Okay, I was actually looking for this. As at 20th of November... That was the latest design. This is the Miss Tanzania wearing the dress. Okay, that was the latest design on that person's page. And this is the actual designer that makes the dress. That was the most recent design on that person's page. So, obviously, you copied it. Okay, and probably when I called her out, she decided to go back there and update her page. You know, so which actually means what I said was right. You actually copied, you stole from somebody. Okay, um, so let's leave, let's, let's leave that. Now, talking about Ebuka's, um, Ebuka's, um, Agbada, why would you copy from someone and not give credit to whoever the person is? It is very, very unfair. You know, someone, someone went through the stress of, recreating something and you copy from that person well the guy actually came up and said well finally he's deconstructed but i'm trying to look for it that's why i'm looking down he's deconstructed but i finally gained recognition what stops you from telling people you got inspiration from so 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 person what stops it it does not kill you when you get an inspiration from somebody and make that inspiration, make your own design better. You see, that is where it is different. When you're a designer, you design. But when you're a tailor, you copy from other people because originality is zero. You don't have it. Creativity is zero. You don't have it. And guess what? Even when you copy, you don't copy it right. You understand what I'm saying? You do not copy it right. It is very, very unfair. Let's leave Abel Kassut alone. What happened again next? Adesua's wedding dress. Unfortunately, I mean, her name keeps coming up because so many things went wrong. A young girl woke up from her slumber and she posted on Instagram like she was like, oh, wow, I am so shocked. The very design, the very sketch. Here it is again. This is the sketch the girl did right here. The very design, the very sketch. You know, she sketched it, she gave it to a designer, and the designer rejected the sketch. And for her to wake up the following morning and see it is the same design you used on the bride. Without giving credit to the person that did the sketch. It was so correct from the fabric of the dress, the bracelets, the hairstyle, I mean everything, the veil, whichever way. You understand what I'm saying? It is very, very wrong. It is very, very wrong. Okay, so let's leave that. Even the decoration as well. I mean, so many things, but let us leave that. But this morning, the one that actually pissed me off the most, that really, really got me talking is, how would somebody else steal, as in you steal, because this one is outright stealing, and this one is not even a Nigerian person for, for that matter. You know, anybody that knows um, Yemi Oshunko Yakushiba creation, I'm sure you must have seen. And if you haven't seen it, go to his Instagram page, go on his Facebook page. How can you steal? Let's say you steal my work. You see me, I am in the picture. And you post it on your page as your work. 
How does that sound? I mean, that is ludicrous. That is stealing. That is passing off. You're stealing somebody else's intellectual property. And when they talk, they'll be like, eh, is it the first design? Is it the first person to do this? Is it the first person to do that? It is not fair. It is called stealing. Stealing is stealing. When you steal from someone, you are dragging that person down. You see, one thing I am for, and those that know me is, I like for us all to rise up together. Let us grow up together. You cannot steal somebody's design with the person in the background, okay? This wedding dress was made by Koshiba Creation, okay? With the person in the background. And you steal from that person. You post it on your page. As in, it is your work. You understand what I'm saying? But meanwhile, when the person sends you a message, that is Yemi Oshukoya's message there. He says, you see, that is him right here. That is him right here. When he contacts the person, he says, why are you using an image of my work with me in the second and third photo as your own? Guess what the person did? The person blocked him off and turned him off. And this is someone that has 123,000 followers. <laughs> Leko, I'm actually not upset. I am just, I'm just pissed off. You know, now, this is the actual dress on his own page with his clients wearing the same dress he made so how would anybody steal any other person's work and post it on your page as your work for crying out loud this is someone's hard work someone's sweat someone's earning you just steal it and you post it as it's your work it is very very wrong it is very, very wrong. It is very, very wrong. I'm, I mean, seriously, it is very, very wrong. So why am I doing this video? It's very, very simple. Please share this video with anybody, anybody you know that is in the event industry, maybe a tailor, a designer, um, a decorator, you know, anybody. It's like, for instance, the floral work behind me. If I did not make it, I'm not going to come and tell you I made it because I did not make it. So why would you steal somebody else's work and say you are the owner of the work? You understand what I'm saying? It does not make any sense. You steal from people. You steal from people. Now, I am particularly bitter because if you go to China, you're going to see the whole of my work, my pictures. You're going to see everything on the wall. Even lots of other makeup artists in Nigeria, big names in the industry. You go to all these upcoming makeup artists, you go to their work, you go to their stores, and you see their pictures on their wall. They are claiming ownership of the job. And at the end of the day, you're going to get these people to come and do the work. And they do rubbish for you. What do you have to say about that? Do you understand what I'm saying? I've had situations, even photographers. I've had situations where upcoming photographers, they steal other photographers' work. Do you understand what I'm saying? They steal them, they show them to clients like, this is my work. You understand what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you take their wedding pictures. These are memories that are going to last them a lifetime. And at the end of the day, you bring, you bring the work. It is totally nothing to write home about. It doesn't make any sense. We have to stand up for each other. We seriously have, we need to stand up for each other. You understand what I'm saying? And it's so unfortunate. Somebody woke up um, on Instagram, was it um, last week, was begging all the tailors in Nigeria, telling them, please don't recreate um, Ibuka's Agbada for anybody. What the heck? What the heck? The tailor that made Ibuka's Agbada, was he the originator of that Agbada? He wasn't the, he wasn't the originator of that Agbada. He, he, he copied it from somebody else. You know, now your Instagram follower jumped from 2,000 jump to about 58,000 15, followers. You know, you think you're doing something good to yourself. It is not fair. It is not fair. Sincerely, it is not fair. Now, recently, for the past two, three days, I've had a few people send me videos of some work. They've even tagged me on, um, on my boy Onigele's work, some um, Otto Gele he did and everything. And they're asking me if they want it, they want it. And I went and I commented, I told them, I said, this is not my work. This is his own work. If you want it, let me know. I can get in touch with him. And we can find a way for you to order from order from them directly. I don't have to steal somebody else's intellectual property. I don't have to. You know, and we should all see it like that. You don't have to steal from anybody to get to where you want to get to. 
Think outside the box. Think about what you can do for yourself. Think about how you can better yourself. You know, a lot of throws came on Instagram. They were making all sorts of rubbish and stupid comments. Better my work. I want to get five minutes fame. Hello, five minutes fame. Whoever you are, I have been in business since 1996. Okay, I've been doing this for 20 good years. And I am still in business. I opened the doors for a lot of people. Okay, for a lot of people, those of you that used to be ashamed doing what you're doing today, I opened the door for you with the help of God. You understand what I'm saying? So it's, 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 very, it's very, very wrong. If you steal from somebody, please just give, cre give credit to that person. That is all we are asking for. Give credit to that person if you steal from somebody. It's stealing as far as I'm concerned until you give credit to the person. You are a thief. You understand what I'm saying? Even when you copy, like blogs and ins uh, for, for instance, if you copy, it's called plagiarism. Well, that's pretty much what it is. So even if you copy something, if you share from somebody's blog, add, put it there. Repost from so 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 person, repost from so 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 person, because we are all copying all these things. But give credit to the originator. That is all we are asking for. It's very easy. It's very simple. A lot of people live on so much lies. And at the end of the day, it doesn't get you anywhere. That's why you see a lot of people, they come into business and one year, two years, three years, they fall down the line because they cannot stay in the business. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just saying my own. You know, y'all can come for me. It really doesn't matter. But I'm still going to say mine. I wasn't going to talk about this until I saw Yemiko Shiba's situation. And I mean, I was, I was very, very upset. My heart was shattered because that man started from a very, very long time. If you are in the fashion industry and you don't know him, then you are probably in the wrong industry. Okay. So there is really, really nothing original out there. We are all copying, we are all recreating, but when you recreate, when you say you get inspiration from somebody, please give that person the credit. That is all I am asking for, okay? As a vendor, I mean, it's not in my place to bring another vendor down, but if what you are doing is in line of bringing down other people, you know, then it is not right, it is not nice. It is not right, and even if you are going to copy, if you are going to copy, for God's sake, add your own touch. Change the design, change the bottom, change the top, you know, just recreate it in your own way, you know, and um, back to that story, that bullcrap story that you were trying to um, accommodate the beneath beads that this I was going to wear. If really and truly you're a designer, let's quickly talk about that. If really and truly you're a designer, and if you feel, if you feel peace, please inbox me personally, let's, let's talk about this. I don't have time for going back and forth, okay? I'm just going to say this and I'm going to leave it here, okay? If really and truly and indeed you are a designer, you should know how to convert a dress. I'm looking for this. That's why I'm... <laughs> oh my God, okay. So now, this is the original sketch, okay? Now, as you can see, this is unique. This is beautiful by itself and this is the copied work okay now from her explanation to those of you that um followed the story from her explanation she said um the design because she was going to wear a bini dress and everything now this is a simple monostrap dress monostrap means it has one hand one shoulder all the way down okay we're talking about originality here if indeed you're a designer Please, those of you that can, so look at this. How difficult is it to convert this? Actually, let me grab something so you all can see. How difficult is it for you to convert this? Just take out this and make it a tube. How difficult is that to make it look exactly like this? Why is, this is your original sketch. How did you go from this sketch to this sketch? How did you go? If not for the fact that you had already seen this, you incorporated it here, which is fine enough. If she had created this, this is originality. And that's what we're talking about. So when you don't have originality in what you're doing, you copy. And that's what it is. You copy from other people. You understand what I'm saying? You copy from other people. But if you are going to copy, please copy well and copyright. Okay. Now, this is another design. Since I'm talking about this, let's talk about it now. Now, the design 
on right here is the design, the same design she copied, and that is her own creation of this. Okay, so let me leave it at that because I have too many things to show, but I'm not going to go into too much detail. You know, so when I don't talk, I don't talk because I don't want to talk. I did not talk because I didn't want anything to say. I mean, I didn't have anything to say. I kept quiet out of respect for the couple because it was beginning to seem as if I was hating on them. They don't know me. I don't know them. And it really doesn't matter. But the truth still has to be told. I am a vendor in the wedding industry. Okay, and it will pain me as, as a partial wedding planner, as a partial wedding vendor. Let's forget makeup, let's forget gilly or whatever. I'm in the wedding industry. You understand what I'm saying? It is very, very wrong. Okay, when you claim originality of somebody else's work, and you know that person will see you, you don't have integrity. That's what it is. You lack integrity. When you copy from somebody, please, for the sake of God, for your own reputation, Give a credit, inspiration from so, so so person's work and do a better job. Don't do a shoddy job. Don't just do bull crap. Okay? Don't just do bull crap. And please, you guys should not. Don't be shy from speaking the truth. And that's just the truth. Don't be shy. Please share this video. If you have any friend that is in the wedding industry, any friend that is a tailor, a photographer, a fashion designer, anybody that you know they have stolen from, please share this video they need to see this okay it is very very wrong so to that lady i mean like i said go on yemi koshiba's page to that lady that stole her work it is very very wrong it is very very wrong you know and she did not even steal only yemi koshiba's work she stole from other designers as well putting it on her page as her own work okay that is totally wrong it is called t free that's what it is Okay, so please, 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 and please, for the sake of God, if you know anybody, and if you are in the act of doing it, please stop. Please stop. Thank you, Fala Kemi, for sharing that video. Please stop. Stop. We need to stop it. Most especially in our hometown, Nigeria, we need to stop it. Stop stealing from other people. If you get inspiration from them, give them the credit because they created that act. They created that skill. They took their time. They sat down there to recreate it, to reconstruct it. Do you understand what I'm saying? <sighs> I'm just... <laughs> like, seriously, I am just... I'm just so upset. I'm so upset. I wasn't going to talk about this, but... I mean, this morning... I mean, this one really, really pulled me off. And talk about you even... Okay, now, to those of you that know me, you know when I do my stuff, I don't discuss my top my prizes online. Okay, so how come, <laughs> what about the suit? Um, the Agbad, I keep calling it the suits. Why can't you be consistent in your pricing? That's why a lot of people fall out of business, okay? Why would you quote a different price to somebody like somebody asked how much is, um, how much is it to make the Agbada? You quoted 130000 to somebody. 180,000 to somebody else, 230,000 to somebody else. I got a quote of 320,000 naira, which was $876 for Agbada, made out of wool. Okay, I wasn't going to talk about that, and somebody else got a quote for 380,000 naira. I mean, is it the same fabric or is it a different fabric? Are you using different fabric for different people? It doesn't make any sense because guess what? If you are new in the game, even if you're in the wedding industry, brides, bridals or whatever, these brides, they talk among themselves. They discuss their prizes. You know, that's why you find some wedding planners. They're going to tell you, oh, I charge X amount for wedding planning. And they go to another bride. They try, tell them they charge X amount for this bride talk. They talk among themselves and they know how much every other person pays. Okay, so let me just round this up, okay? Let me just... Oh, they look at faces, right? But it is... Anyway, people cannot be paying you for Bentley and you're giving them a Volkswagen service. It doesn't add up. It does not make any sense. Okay? It's... It doesn't make any sense. Big boy. Huh? Well, at the end of the day, what happened? Was he called out? That is what happens. 
somebody cannot come to you for the price of a Bentley and you're giving them um, the service of a Volkswagen, it doesn't make any sense. If you cannot do it, simply go to the person. I did a makeup for some people today. They're having a seven shade birthday. And they were talking about the wedding planner from hell that they're using. You understand what I'm saying? And I personally, I was pissed off because I don't know why wedding planners should impose vendors on clients. Except the client has seen your work and they have requested your work. You understand what I'm saying? Now, except the vendor in particular has a problem not delivering, being late, unless that vendor is going to tarnish the image of your company, is going to tarnish the image of your reputation, then I understand you not presenting them or you not accepting to use them. Do you understand what I'm saying? But for you to just come outrightly and say you don't want to use this vendor, it's all, it's all a lie. You, you, you get caught, okay? You get caught from these people. You steal from your clients. You know, like I was talking this morning and they were talking, and I told the person out earlier, I said, look here, I'm in the wedding industry as well. I do wedding planning. I do coordination and everything, but I hate to do planning. And I mentioned a name. I mentioned names of two or three wedding planners in Houston that they can always go to and talk to if what they want is A, give them what they want. They get what they want. And it's only a few wedding planners that deliver anyway. You know, because at the end of the day, only a few wedding planners put their thought process into what they are doing, into their execution, into what they do. And guess what? The funniest thing is, once you see this wedding planner do something, everybody comes, they copy it, they copy it, they copy it, they copy it. You know, it's... it's... Anyway, I think I have said so much. I have said so, so much, okay? So please, let's, let's, let's stop this. It's not only happening in Nigeria. I mean, as we can see, this is here in America. You understand what I'm saying? This happened in America. It's happening in London. It's happening all over the world. But if we as vendors can stand up against passing off, if we can stand up against copying other people's work and not giving credit to them. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't say don't get inspiration from somebody else. When you get inspiration from somebody else, please give credit to that person. Let that person be appreciated. Okay? Let that person know that, hey, you are doing a fantastic job. You understand what I'm saying? Like I said, I am not ashamed going to learn from anybody. Like I went to Nigeria, I went to learn how to do the pleats gele from Onigele. I had to go learn it because <laughs> I've been in the game for 20 years and I don't want to get rusty. You understand what I'm saying? I had to go and learn. You understand what I'm saying? Now I am back in the hairdressing business, styling my hair. Adverts, yeah? It's okay. It's my line. You know? And I am going to go back to brush up my skills. So brush up your skills. If you are getting rusty, brush up your skills. There is nothing wrong in you going to somebody, look here, I want to learn. I like what you are doing. If this person says, I can't teach you, go to somebody else. There are lots of people out there. Go and learn. Go and better yourself. That is what I'm trying to do for myself, okay? So please, 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 and pretty, please, um, don't get me wrong. Sincerely, don't get me wrong. And um, let me just use this medium to apologize to Adesu and Banky W if they actually feel slighted about whatever happened. It's okay. It's okay. But they are probably the examples. We are going to use them to correct the societal ills going on in our industry it's just like the nigerian movie um nollywood industry as well you copyright all these things you don't give credit to these people you are making them lose money when you don't don't even don't even copyright their work period don't copyright their work don't copy don't simply copyright their work you know subscribe to their videos buy their videos watch their videos they work too hard for all these things don't duplicate don't duplicate their work don't don't duplicate their work. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense. It sincerely doesn't make any sense. It it doesn't make any sense. You know, it doesn't make any sense because everybody is in the makeup industry right now. You feel you can get on YouTube and learn how to do makeup and come and say you're a makeup artist. No, you're not, because it takes constant practice. Everything you see on YouTube, you don't see the mistakes. You don't see the mistakes. You just see the edited work that they do you don't see the mistake so when you make a mistake when you fall in a mess you do not see it now if you are in that industry as well and 
You rely on Photoshop for your work. At the end of the day, it's your own downfall because guess what? The trend keeps changing over and over and over and over again. The trend keeps changing over and over again. So please, if you feel you are getting rusty, please go back and get yourself re-educated. Okay? Oh, yeah, I mean, darling, she, what you see, the kind of things you learn on YouTube is totally different. You understand what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people get on YouTube, they learn some people put their thought process, add one and one together. Like I said, I'm self-thought. I can look at this thing and feel like, hmm, I think this is how they make it. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to try to make it. I've had a people come to me that they learned how to do the ghillie and everything on YouTube. I have gone on YouTube as well to learn how to do the ghillie. But guess what? It's not the same. When they show you the ropes, when they show you the turns, when they show you how they did these things is when you can get it. If you want to build a business out of this. Okay? So the long and short of this is because my soap opera is going on. Ugh, I'm missing it is. Please, if you are going to copy somebody's design, give the person the respect. Okay? By giving them credit. Letting them know you like their work because that way they feel appreciated. They can go back and work better. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I like to see what my competition is doing. I like to see what my competition is doing. I want to know what that person is doing so I can better myself. I'm not envious of every, anybody and that's just the truth. I work with all makeup artists. Okay? Yeah. $18,000 to go to cosmetic surgery. So tell me, well... We're going to talk behind cameras on that one, Teresa, because, man, I just, I just don't want to talk. So give them the credit. Give them the credit. Give them the credit. Please give them the credit. That is all that is required. Okay? So let us stop it. Let us stop it. Let us stop it. Now, being rude, you all know my mouth is gutter, but I'm working on myself. I'm a work in progress, okay? I'm a work in progress. I am a work in progress. Give me a call when you convenience. Yes, I'm a work in progress. So please let's let's just stop. I think I'm talking too much. And um, I love you guys. I sincerely love you. Please just share this video. Let them see it. If you know anybody that is copying other people's work, posting it on their page like their work, share this video and tag them. Let them see it. If it's not Panadol, it can never be the same thing as Panadol. You can copy from now till thy kingdom come. That is fine. You know, that is fine, but I mean, just give credit. That's all we're asking for. Okay? Give credit. Give credit. That's that's all we're asking for. Okay? It was nice having you guys here. Thank you so, so much for the few of you that were able to come on here. I say thank you. Okay? And um, to those of you that want to misquote me, it's up to you. It's your Gary. I really don't care. If you want to twist my words from this video, I really don't care. I don't give a rat ass because I'm going to say what I have to say regardless. You know, but at the end of the day, thank God I spoke out two Sundays ago. And from two Sundays ago, we see the occurrences that have happened. Ebu Kagbada is there, number one. Um, the wedding dress is there, number two. And Koshiba Creations work is another one. All in one week i should go another that's like better i know that is even going to in fact they have actually bastardized that design i don't think i want it anymore i'm going to recreate one of my designs from 1997 20 years ago yes that's what i'm going to recreate you know spend that money joe and other one <laughs> oh my god you should once in a year do a prize for a full Makeover for wedding, makeover photo shoots. Oh, well, yeah, if y'all want to do, if you want to do a makeover photo shoot, just let me know. We can talk about it. We sincerely can talk about it. I'm a mess. <laughs> Dupe, it's, it's very, it's very painful. Sincerely, it is very, very painful. It's, it's very, very painful. You see, it's, it's a different thing if you're making Ash OK design. Okay. Even in the Ashoke okay business, too many people are copying other people's designs. Some people go to patent their work, you know, and you just copy it and 
you will mess up the design for that person. It is not nice. It is not right. You know, that's why I see a lot of people, they come to me. Oh, yes, they want to this, they want to that. And I'm 100% sure it's Nigerians that took Ashoke to China where they started making that robbery Ashoke, selling to people as Ashoke. Because they want to spoil the business for other people. It is not, it is not nice. <laughs> I should talk about photo shoots. Ah, photo shoots. Hmm. Let me not just say too much, Joe, because mm -hmm. <laughs> I've seen too many people, too many people. They still other photographers work. Well, I said it already. Oh, people have copied your whole business page on Facebook <gasps> and Facebook did nothing about it. Did you report to Facebook? Sorry, guys, I haven't been reading comments. Are you serious? They copied your whole business on Facebook and... Well, I think when things like that happen, you need to report them to Facebook. Sin sin sincerely, you need to report them on Facebook. If, I mean, somebody came up to me once, one time ago and told me, oh, my soap opera, oh, my God, and told me they, they, they saw all of my work in Abuja, in a salon in Abuja, you know, and they had all of my, before Gile went crazy, before they started this split Gile in Niger now, you know, all of my work on the wall in Abuja, I almost fainted. Keep talking, you know. I just took a seat and got pencil and paper to take notes. Oh, my God. Oh. No, but seriously, seriously, DVR my soap. I'm at work. I can't DVR my soap. Sincerely, Halima, how are you doing? You know, it, it, is, it is very, very, it is, sincerely, it's very, very wrong. You know, when people have... When people have their own designs, when they go to create something, when you create something for somebody. <gasps> Aditola, are you serious? Like they took, they took Rahim's picture of your wedding and posted as their work. I did your wedding. Oh my God. I did your wedding. So I know what you're talking about. Okay. Sheon says, honestly, why do we do that as Nigerians? Once we see someone doing something, we jump at it. Yep. I was one of the first people who started selling braid wig here in the U.S. But uh, talking about talking about that, my dear, that is a separate topic for another day. Trust me, that is a separate topic for another day. You see, find you see that's why all these people they don't last in business. They do not last in business. They come in, they mess the business up for you, and they leave it and they run. Do you understand what I'm saying? I particularly stopped selling gele, as in the paper gele. I stopped selling it because almost everybody sells gele in their car. So how do you expect people that sell gele, that own a shop, that owns a storefront, how do you expect them to make money from what they are selling? And guess what? They buy these things for five dollars in china and they sell it to you at thirty dollars help you find a good nigerian man to marry so you can do our wedding <laughs> so y'all want me to start a wedding um a dating a dating site we'll talk about that later same thing happened to me too in nigeria the person actually put my client's picture up in and claim she did the work well, you see, the earlier we all start talking about this, the better, because it is, when you see stuff like that happen, you don't want anybody to call your name. Ah, I don't want them to call my name. Oh, I don't want them to say this. I don't want them to say that. Please call their name. Call them out. Put them out there. Call their name. The, see, the earlier you put these people out there, the better for you, because it doesn't make any sense. If not, they're going to run you out of business. They will run you out of business. And that is the truth. They will run you out of business. I, for one, I really don't care what, what they say, you know. I mean, the comments on Instablog Nigeria, it was, it was a lot. But guess what? I give it to Instablog Nigeria because those people are smart. They drop their message and they go. When Instablog was going to make that post, they wrote their intellectual property mess. Because they know it is intellectual property. They know what they are talking about. And the few blogs that reposted it said intellectual property mess. And that is what happens when you steal from somebody. It attracts a lawsuit. That is what it does. It attracts a lawsuit. You know now, like I said before, there is nothing original. 
even when you steal someone's cake design, I mean, we have lots of fantastic cake bakers in Nigeria, even here, you know, we have lots of fantastic cake bakers in Nigeria and even here in America. But you see all these upcoming cake bakers and everything, they still do work like 100% and they don't even give credits. It is not fair. Many people are run, running the true professional out of the business. They charge cheaper and provide horrible service. Um, mm -hmm. Honey, we all just have to deal with that. Yeah. Because that's why, like I tell people, whatever picture of my work you see is taken from my phone. I don't Photoshop my work. If you know, you know. If you don't know, well, that's what I'm saying. I do not Photoshop my work. Okay? Like the people I went to, somebody came into my studio the other day and was asking me, oh, I want to do makeup. And she was asking me, how much do I charge? And I gave her my price. You know, and she was like, oh, that's too expensive for makeup. I'm like, well, products are not cheap. You know, I'm going to spend nothing less. The least I'll spend, even if I rush on your face, is 45 minutes. One hour, one hour, 50 minutes. I mean, one hour, 15 minutes. Maximum. You understand what I'm saying? The products I use are top of the line. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, I am so sanitary in my work. I clean after each client. I mean, I put my everything in what I do. You know, some of them saying compared to somebody that is just going to come, they pick up something just from the street. They can pick up anything and just paint your face and they are charging you maybe $30. I'm not going to do that. I can refer you to go to them. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why I say it and I keep saying you need to bring your A game on anytime, every time. Now, am I the best in the industry? No, because there are lots of other people out there that does a fantastic job that I look up to. Do I bring other makeup artists down? No, I do not. Because whoever you go to is your choice. But if you come to me to make you look like a drag queen, I don't do that. I will refer you. I'll send you to somebody else that can make you look like a drag queen at the end of the day. But that is not what I do. Okay? So, I mean, everything I do, I try my best. Oh, did I tell you guys that some people in Nigeria, even this is my weight loss, so that I have been going through on... In the face of the world, some people took my picture and posted it in their WhatsApp group and said they were the ones that helped me to lose weight, that I did surgery, they helped me. In fact, saying all sorts of rubbish and nonsense. But meanwhile, everybody know I did this by myself. You know, unfortunately, I couldn't get those people's handle because the person refused to send it to me. You understand what I'm saying? But it is very, very wrong. Stop stealing other people's shine. Stop Stealing other people's shine. Stop stealing from people. It is thief. And just in case, yes. Oh, yes, Nanisha. Some people said they helped me to lose weight. Yep. And that's the truth. You know, so when all these things are happening and you're beginning to see it, you're knowing what is going on, you know, you steal recipe, even as cooks or caterers or whatever, you steal recipe from people, you steal people's picture on their Facebook or on their Instagram page. You post it on your Instagram page claiming you are the one that cooked the food. And they taste your food. Your food is horrible. Not everybody is supposed to be a caterer. Not everybody is licensed to be a caterer. Not everybody knows how to cook. Okay? I know a few people that are doing that. So please stop. Because if you don't stop, I mean, I already started this and I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to keep pushing it. I want us, I want us all to stand against passing off. We need to stand against passing off other people's work as your work. We need to stand against copycat work. We need to stand against it. We need to talk about that weight loss. So you're looking amazing. Thank you so much. Just got my daughters cracking up. Darling, I, I, I mean, I'm serious. You know, at times I talk, it is so funny. You know, I'm sitting down here trying to better myself when I don't have anything to do. I get on YouTube. I learn how to do the hair. Like I'm beginning to learn how to brush up my hairstyle techniques and everything. That is, that is the best thing you can do for yourself. Brush up on yourself. Improve what you can improve on. Just improve yourself. Better yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Better yourself. I'm on your keto page on IG. <laughs> okay. You know, just better yourself. That's all you can do. 
You know, but for you to just sit down there and think you can copy, and please, if you even if you're going to copy, please do a better job than the person that did it before. Okay? Like I said, this is like the opt-in time I said I think I want to stop talking. But y'all keep getting me to talk some more. Hey, Demola, what's up? Timmy Tayo, I see you. Auntie Shola, I see you all. So please, do me a favor by just sharing this video. That is all I want to do. And yes, please, give credits. Give credits. Just like our first lady the other day, she stole Michelle Obama's speech. <laughs> not knowing that we're going to find out. The internet does not lie. It is there. You will always see it. It is there. People will find out. I should keep talking. No, my soap is on. Jeez. Ah, 30 minutes. You know, the internet is always there. You know, it is always there. It is always there. People would always find out. So please, 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 and please. Okay, please. Hmm? I'm only begging. And like I said, those of you that are ready to misquote me, misunderstand me, misinterpret me, it doesn't really matter. Okay? Let me make sure I'm cleaning my mouth before they come and abuse me now, saying I have white stuff in my tits. All my children, no. Come for you, P. No, it's some um, days of our life. I never miss days of our life. That's my soul. See how blushing I am watching days of my life? Give credit. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Let's talk. 45, 45 will come. Oh. How many people did I block on my Facebook? How many people did I block from my Instagram page just last week? I blocked over 500 pages. Because they kept recreating and recreating and recreating fake pages. Just to troll up on me, but guess what? They know plenty rich. You know, when I talked the other day, they thought Shegun was talking to over 500 people, and I'm not joking because I, I blocked off my comments. I blocked off my comments and I kept blocking people, as in they kept. It was funny. It was funny. It was funny, but yeah. You know, thank God, I mean, everything is coming up this way. I think anybody that has been um, passed off on, anyone that his or her work has been stolen, anyone that um, they have ruined her business, his or her business, from other people trying to copy their work and charging lesser. Do you understand what I'm saying? Anybody that has started a business and other people come in as an as a friend, not knowing that they are enemies, trying to take away from them. You understand what I'm saying? They will understand what I'm talking about. They will understand what I'm talking about. It is very, very wrong. It is very, very bad. You know, it is very distasteful. It is unprofessional. It is unethical. Okay? It doesn't give you a good reputation. It doesn't put you in a good light. Anything, everything, say it, it does not do it. It doesn't do it. So we need to stop. So when you see somebody doing stuff like that, please tell them it is wrong. And if you have to copy, please copy well. Okay? Copy well. Thanks, Sister Debbie. Copy well. Copy well. Okay? Please copy well if you have to and give credit to that person. If somebody created something, you like it so much, Give credit to that person. Please. You guys got me talking. Can't leave. I gotta go. Anyway, Bo, I need to go. Mommy duties. Thank you so much. I mean, I... I don't know how you do it every day, show. I mean, y'all, if you don't plug on her live videos, you guys are missing, you know? Her name is Sheo Obajolu. Plug into her live videos. She discusses interesting topics that I cannot discuss. She even talks about sex and marriage. Oh my God. Yes. She talks about all of those, you know, so please, 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 please plug in whenever she comes on. Actually turn on her notification because she does this like, and she makes a whole lot of sense. Okay. Patrick Obayag Mogovex with all your grammar. <laughs> all the higgy haga. <laughs> Oh, the higgy haga. No, it's... It, 
Yeah, they are the higi haga of the industry. You know, they are the higi haga of the industry. I don't speak Obayagbonese. I don't speak the language. Okay, so um, for the last time, thank you so much, guys. Thank you all for coming. But one thing you can do for me is please share this video. Share this video. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Let me quickly talk about this. Let me quickly talk about this. It's about um, wedding photography. Now, your makeup, your photography, investing in yourself for wedding. I think I should make it a separate topic. That's going to be another topic. Hi, Zainab. How are you doing? Um, Titi Lokpade, well, I see you. How are you guys doing? Yes, it's going to be another topic, okay? Choosing your wedding vendors. Mm-hmm. That one is a very sweet one. Very, very sweet. I think I need to talk about that one later. Okay, so those of you just coming in, I'm sorry. You can, um, you can play this back. And please do me a favor. Share this video. That's the only way you can get to those that need to hear this. So if you have somebody that you need to hear this, please share this video with them. Actually tag them on the video. You know, and um, the world is going to be a better place. Once again, don't forget, say no to copy copy, say no to Photoshop, say no to plagiarism, say, say no to copy and paste. If you copy from somebody, please give credit. That is all that is required. Give credit, okay? Till next time, bye guys. And if you don't see me, it's not my fault. I only talk when I have something to say, okay? And yes, I had it up to here this time. That's why I'm talking about this, okay? See you guys later. Bye-bye.